But just right now in the communities, I see people marching. In fact, I got to go to St. Louis at the end of the at the end of the week. We'll be recording live there, and I enjoyed that. Right. But what can we do as a culture in a community to? really make some noise with our spending power. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? That we have the ability to close businesses, open businesses, make a <laughs> difference how prosperous certain communities are, businesses are, certain people are, just based on the money that we spend. Today we're talking about the spending power on this Money Monday, the power that you have. From 2004 to 2014, the number of black households with annual incomes of 50000 to 75,000 increased 18%. Right. Make sure it compared to only 2%. Compared to only 2%. For the total U.S. For the total so, U.S. Absolutely. So you think our income has increased significantly. That one, and also black households earning more than $100,000 annually between 2004 and 2014 um, was up 95%. Compared with 60, 60, 66% for the total population. Absolutely. So I, I know a lot of us are like, I'm struggling. You know, things aren't different. But collectively, when you look at us, listen to those numbers. Yeah. You yeah. know, our income is increasing significantly. Yeah. So the question is, what are we doing differently, though? Indeed. Yes. You know what? I was. We were just watching um, a, a young man. He was talking about friendly protest right and how protests just can't be friendly like those aren't you you can't protest friendly like right. it's gonna be some something's gonna suffer something's gonna hurt and so in my opinion i believe that if you're gonna protest anything you got to understand the power that you have as a person to spend where you want to spend target companies who are going to help your community not just take from your community absolutely and you we can direct our dollar yeah um you're talking about creating some pain for someone Financial is obviously one of the greatest pains. And when, when we talked about, before we came back on the air, when we were talking about Martin Luther King and um, when the bus boycott, that was economics. Yes. Yes. Like we're no longer spending with the bus. We're not, and they begged them to come <laughs> back because they couldn't afford it anymore. Now, obviously, yeah. it took a long time before that yeah. happened, but that was an economic strategy yeah. overall Yeah. Yep, in order for the buses to be segregated. So it's the exact same thing. We In, in our modern time, you know, we have not collectively done that. Yeah. You know, we haven't pinpointed saying we are not going to do this anymore. We are going to do this. And what that would be, if we could have that impact, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, imagine what we could do now, now that we have this over a trillion dollars of spending power now a t -t trillion like i keep <laughs> saying t -t. somebody hit me on social media like why does he keep saying t -t? because i want you to know that's a t not right. a b not a m right. it's trillion dollars worth of spending power that african-american people have and so what i'm challenged to do now is say listen in your local community i want you to figure out what companies are supporting your school system right besides their tax dollars like right. i literally want you to see who who name is on the football jersey right and let's support that team. Absolutely. Instead of just going around spending our money with anybody. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy the kneeling. I enjoy the marching. But I realize now that as an African-American person, collectively, we have a lot of spending power. Right. Let's talk about where black people spend most of their money. Right. So where we tend to spend more money than our other races is in um, utilities. Okay. Shoes. Gotta have them shoes, service. though. <laughs> gotta why have them. Why utilities? Um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> yeah, we don't that's know a really why. Good question. But, but, but studies have shown. Are we being charged more? I don't get it. Yep, yeah, but we spend more. Now, where we spend less is new cars, yeah, we, furniture, yeah. Yeah. healthcare, education, wow. and then pension or retirement. So, so that's we need where to spend we tend a little to spend bit more. less. So we need to switch pension and shoes out. We, may, we might want to switch that out. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that retirement is so necessary. <laughs> We want to have it for later for sure. So I, so this is what I've been doing personally. I always like to make it practical. I now spend my money in places where, you know, I know people are supporting people. Like even with insurance. Like I spend with Sharice because she's an African-American woman who right. has her own insurance company. Right. I have to spend probably about twenty, thirty dollars more. Right. But this is a sister doing what she's doing. Absolutely. And so we're going to support her. Right. I spend a little bit more on my cleaner cleaners. Like it ain't real close to me right now. Right. But I have to go support those who are supporting locally. 
I'm challenging you, although you may spend a few extra coins more, but support your local businesses so as a community we can grow into the communities that we're supposed yeah. to be. And we're not saying accept substandard service. No, yeah, not at all. We're not saying that at all. And one thing that I've noticed about us culturally, we have a bad experience with one black company. We don't want to deal with any black companies anymore. That's true. Yeah, look at Crystal that, laughing. That's Crystal. She's she like, true. show enough. They did not send my stuff on time. But family, we will do better. I pray that this show is going to enlighten you.